Hi, beautiful. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's turn a shitty, cheap wig into a beautiful, one-of-a-kind masterpiece sometimes. So today is a sort of tutorial, sort of challenge to myself. Can I turn this wig, yes, this wonderful $18 Amazon wig, can I make this thing wearable? We shall see. I've never actually worked with a wig with a fake scalp. Well, maybe one time and it went really badly. Hopefully this time it goes a little bit better and and uh, we'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> I have to actually make the wig look good. Okay, let me grab the wig. <clears throat> you saw her a second ago. Oh my God. This wig is completely synthetic. These are tracks in here. There's not one inch of lace. And there's a plastic scalp. It is way too dense. These curls look bad. Let me show you what's going on up close here. This is the scalp. It's plastic. Okay, I don't even know what that is. This is like a Halloween wig. Look how shiny it is. Oh God. I have my work cut out for me. I've been staring at this for the past 30 minutes, just trying to decide, should I make this video? And am I gonna look like an idiot if I can't make this look good? And I was like, I probably will look like an idiot, but at least I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me just say though, I'm sort of pretty confident that I can make it look good. But this is one of the worst wigs. I know it looks like I've completely rough this thing up before this video and like did a bunch of stuff to it to make it look worse. No, I put it on my head. I took it off and I put it on the stand here. This is how tangled and matted and ugly it's gotten just by putting it on my head once. We need to make a lot of changes here. You are gonna look like a totally different woman when I'm done with you. You better make me look cute because I'm gonna have to put this on my head at the end and I don't want to look like a f freak like I always do when I wear these wigs. I'm done looking ugly online. There has to be a point in my life where that's stops, right? Probably not. I got into the wrong career if I want that to stop. Gotta drink my good luck beet and ginger juice. Yum. In all seriousness though, you guys, I am going to actually show you some of the techniques I use to make a very synthetic, very fake looking wig look real. First thing we gotta do, and first thing that I will tell you is a good idea to do, is brush the hair using a boar bristle or synthetic boar bristle brush that has very bendable bristles and a lot of them and they're very dense. You know, not a detangling brush is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Don't use a wet brush to brush synthetic wigs. It rips the hair out. It doesn't do a good job at detangling and it makes it like all frizzy and gross. So this will actually smooth the hair. It won't pull on it too much and it'll kind of just smooth out the top of it, which is really what you need. You don't need like too much smoothing underneath, but you can turn it over and smooth the underneath out as well. You're gonna see a lot of hair coming out, which is totally fine because there's way too much hair on her head. Way, way too much. We need to get rid of some of this wave in here, baby. It looks awful on you. It's just too much. Okay, your hair is falling out, miss. Um, <laughs> just pretend we don't see that. <laughs> okay, next step is to get a vision. Channel your inner raven from That So Raven. See into the future. What does this wig look like? How can she be styled and look gorgeous? What I'm seeing right now is something that will really help with this fake scalp, which is give it bangs, Brad. It's like, Brad, you can't physically do anything to help this situation on the top, so you're gonna need to cover it up. Get your sh** scissors out. We don't want to use our good shears with this, okay? Plastic hair is not the same as real hair. Let's section out our bang section first. Oh, you're gonna get so transformed today. What should be her name? Miss Wiggy? Like we have Miss Maniquin already and she's not Miss Maniquin, that's for sure. I would never insult Miss Maniquin by telling her that she looks like this. That would be rude. Basically what we're about to do is melt some plastic. It probably won't melt, but it will um, make it more pliable and we're gonna just try and like heat it up until it sort of moves into the place we want. I'm putting my blow dryer on very high heat and low air. Basically what I'm doing is pushing the hair to that side and then this side and then forward just to make sure there's no gap in the bangs. Ugh, gaps and bangs are so ugly. Okay, we're gonna hit it with some cool air just to make sure it stays in place. Gorgeous, kind of. I don't know, we're getting somewhere. We did something is basically why I'm excited. Let's get rid of this hair on the bottom because I can't even comb through her hair right now and it's really annoying. Great. I'm losing my mind today. Why did I just do that? Now a good pro tip is that if you're cutting the hair on a wig block like this and you're cutting bangs, it'd probably be best for you to take the wig off and put it on your head and trim the bangs where you want it to lay before you then go and cut all the fringe. What happens is because your head's a different shape, some are bigger, some are smaller, your bangs are gonna sit a little bit different depending on your head shape and everything. But luckily also with a wig, you can kind of rock it back and forth to make it the right length of fringe for you. All right, let's do a 
little trimmy poo. I'm gonna do a slight over direction so that they're not completely straight across. This hair is so plastic, I can't even get through it. Okay, let's try getting this way. Great, okay. Oh, no, no, no. This is gonna be a challenge for me. Please don't cut me. Why am I asking myself to please not cut me? Like, that's something you ask somebody else to not do. <laughs> okay, well, stick with me. We're gonna get there. This is honestly some of the worst fake hair I've ever dealt with. Can't even cut through it. God, why do they make these wigs so thick too? It's looking cute. All right, we're gonna layer up the bangs. Basically what I'm gonna do is take little pie slice sections, pull it all the way up, over direct it like this. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. And then we're gonna cut off those high points if we can get through it with these. This is gonna help really thin that fringe out and give her some of that natural looking texture. Okay, cute. Let's not miss a piece though. What the hell is this? Oh my God. Did I just wreck her hair? Okay, um, <laughs> let me try to get a little bevel in the bang because it's looking a little too straight. And I don't want anything in my life to look too straight. Okay, let's do my finishing touches on the fringe and we can move on to the next step. I'm gonna pick the hair up on the back of the comb like this. I'm just gonna etch out that fringe. Oh, baby. All right, the secret to a good looking fringe is thin it out enough that it looks real. Get rid of that hair. I like to point cut into it. So you're just cutting completely vertically into the hair and you're just getting rid of some of that weight on the ends. Any fringe that's too thick is an automatic giveaway that it's a really bad wig. I'm sorry. We're not doing no Nicki Minaj circa 2000 and what, 13 bangs? Love you, Nicki. But those were bad. <laughs> Pro tip, when you're using the round brush to style the hair, you have to let the hair sit in place before you start moving it around because the hair is plastic. You need to let it set in place, okay? When you start touching it, it starts moving what you set it in place to do and it doesn't stay like that. All right, what else can we do here? Here we are. The seamer is that bitch when it comes to synthetic wig styling. It's gonna get really fun hot and it's gonna help me get these waves out of the hair. Also, if your synthetic wig is really bulky at the top, you're gonna wanna make sure it's as flat as possible up here. What we're gonna do is put tension on the hair and just grab it like this and just release some of that curl because I just want it more relaxed and more just like natural and like pretty looking. Like we didn't try that hard. <laughs> Also, pro tip, if the hair is really tangled, consider using a steamer to detangle it. Use your brush while you steam. It'll really help get those very stubborn tangles out of the hair. Okay, the hair is now steamed. It's a bit damp, but it'll dry in literally two seconds. I am gonna go ahead and start getting rid of this hair. It is way too long. Oh, that felt so good. Very bad haircut though, I will say. It is lopsided. But wow, I can actually like comb through her hair and not get stuck now. I'm gonna wake up with shards of plastic hair in my butt. Let's give her some face trimming layers. This is definitely a pro tip because everybody with colorful hair like this has some breakage in the front of their hair. The front is always shorter on people with actual colored hair. It's just not as healthy as the back. So we're gonna try and make it look a little bit more damp. A little more crispy. <laughs> If the damn scissors would cut anything. Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna just keep going and going and going for a little bit on this front area. Now that the front is starting to take shape and it's looking kind of cute if I do say this to myself, it's time to give her layers. We're just gonna start chopping away, basically just taking little pie sections, lifting her hair up, getting rid of those longer pieces that stick out of my guide and failing to cut through it. There is a moment back here, you see that? 
I'm now taking the thinning shears. We are gonna get rid of a lot of bulk at the ends of her hair. Again, naturally hair is not this thick on the bottom. So we gotta make it look more real. That is the task today, guys. Also, this is gonna blend those really bad layers I just put it in there. So I'm just taking a bunch of hair at once, going down and doing this like six or seven times to the ends until it, the layers look nice and blended and the ends look a little more thin and fragile. <laughs> Don't overdo it as I overdo it because this is the hair that doesn't grow back. If you ruin this, you're out 18 bucks. That's $18 I could have done something else with. All right, now I'm just going in and I'm just taking even more hair out. Instead of going this way, turn them like this and sort of cut into it. I'm trying to add that texture in there. So what I'm doing now is just aiming the seam towards the head and hand fixing everything to sit in the place I want it to sit, okay? Because that heat's gonna loosen things up and make it more pliable. I want a little wave right there to accent the cheekbone. I wanna make this fringe a little bit more curved on the ends. You're really sculpting, okay? This is plastic. Just remember to let it sit in place once you're done sculpting. I got it to the place that I want it. And if we were doing a wet look right now, she would be so cute. This would be the vibe. I would wear this like it is right now, but we're gonna make it even more delicious. Cause I know if I left it like this, you guys would be like, um, the, she looks like she was drowning or something. Like it's not the look. This is my vibe, but it's not everybody's vibe type of vibe. It's time to get this shine out of my life. This is way too glossy to be realistic. And it also looks really greasy right now. So we're gonna put some dry shampoo in the hair. Usually dry shampoo has some kind of starch in it. Let's see what this one has. Starch, yes, this has starch in it. The starch is gonna help evaporate the those extra oils that we put on the hair by touching it a lot, as well as get rid of some of that shine to make it look a little more dull. Cause who the hell's hair is this shiny? I wish. I was burning hot and now I'm burning hot and I'm high off these fumes at the same time. It's not a good combo. Now that everything in my room is covered in dry shampoo, as well as my lungs, we know that we've gotten to the last step. That was a pro tip, by the way. I forgot to say it. You're probably not gonna get very more pro tips from this point on. Sorry about that in advance, but I'm stressed and hot. It's curling iron time. We're gonna make these waves look a little more uniform. Okay, we're gonna put this on the like second lowest temperature. I am going to wrap the hair around like this. I'm not going to burn the hair, I hope. Oh no, I burnt the hair. Oh no, I burnt it. Okay, plan B. Don't do this if the hair is extremely synthetic because this one is and you apparently cannot use heat on it. I am showing you the mistakes I make in life so you don't make them. We're breaking out the hot rollers. This is a better idea. They don't get as hot. Should we see if this one's working? This is the first one I put in. God, yes, it's working. Put that baby back in there, let it sit for a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. And it's time for the most exciting part of all, releasing the wave. Let's see how good this looks. I hope, no, honestly, like this, I've never hoped for something more in my life. Honestly, the first one, snatched just fine. Second one, really good. I'm gonna keep taking them out. This is looking great. This was the move. Is it too curly? A little bit. All right, let's brush through this and try to get it into a shape we like. Okay, that looks gorgeous. I am going to pin this into place and I'm going to hairspray it where I want it to go. I'm not gonna put too much hairspray in though because sometimes it tends to tangle up the hair a lot. Am I done? I mean, it looks good. I guess I'm just gonna pop this bitch in my head and see how it actually looks. It looks pretty sickening though.
Well, those were the results of a lot of patience and a lot of work on a very synthetic, very cheap wig. I don't know if I'm like obsessed with the results. It was cute. Could it be better? Probably. Could I have spent more time on it? Probably. Also, when I put the wig on my head, I definitely did some maneuvering and altering of it to make it all look appropriate. Sometimes I look fucking crazy in wigs. I feel like if I put this on a girl, it would look actually amazing, but I looked like just an ugly drag queen in it. I will say though, that was a gigantic challenge. It definitely came a very far away since the beginning of the video. Hopefully when I watch this back, I'm like, whoa, okay, it does look a lot better. Brad in the future, what do we think? Okay, if you would like to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmondohair.com. If you want to check out me anywhere else, here are all my social media handles as well as Xmondo Hair and Xmondo Color for hair inspiration. If you want to check out more videos, you can do so here and here. Let's hang out more. Let's do it. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.